I got sued and lost. Hey everyone, it's me Johnny G and thank you for watching this video and I believe this video is going to be kind of long because this is something different than my other videos that I've done. This is something serious that's going on right now in my personal life and I just wanted to spread the word and to everybody that has been sued by a company called or law firm called Pressler and Pressler and I'm just going to explain to you from the very beginning what really happened, okay? So what's going on with me is that back in 2010 in January, I decided to, I didn't decide it, I got sick. I got sick and I ended up in the hospital for about almost a week, but not an entire week, almost a week. So um, I got out and I did my charity care thing because I wasn't working, I wasn't getting any, I didn't have any income. So charity care is basically a um, government funding, or I don't even know if it's government, but it's some type of funding agency that helps you pay your medical bills except for uh, radiology and um, medication, okay? So I ended up paying my own medication and stuff like that. So uh, they said that everything was taken care of. Um, it was the bills over $40,000 and the hospital bill and everything were taken care of. The doctors were taken care of. So that's what they told me from Charity Care. And I was really excited. I was really happy and everything. So, you know, I didn't, you know, I went on with life and everything, continued looking for a job and stuff like that. And it took me a while to get a job because um, for some reason the job market was doing really good. But then finally, around 2011, I ended up getting a job, which is great. Um, I got really excited about that. I worked extremely hard to get that job. Um, I went everywhere to get that job. But okay, so enough of that said. Uh, let's continue on to what happened. Okay, so um, when I got my job, I decided to say, oh, you know what, it's time for me to pay my debt because I have a huge debt, you know, my college education, I had some other debt, so I decided to go ahead and get a credit report. Once I got a credit report, I got all my three, you know, the three bureaus thing. So I got that and I looked at the very top of the credit report and there was a judgment and I was like, a public records judgment. I'm all like, a judgment for what? And they said Medical Empire Associates and I'm all like, a Medical Empire Associates, these are doctors. So, you know, I went online, I checked out who the Medical Empire Associates is, and then after that I looked around, and then, yep, those were the doctors that took care of me, uh, which only, like, they only saw me, like, 15 minutes or something like that, and boom, um, they charged me, like, almost $1,000 for, like, for those 15 minutes or something like that, so well, that pretty much sucks. So, um, you know, I didn't argue with that, I, I just ended up looking down to my credit report and look through the inquiries and say who has been looking through my credit report and there was this company called Pressler and Pressler and I looked up Pressler and Pressler it's a law firm and I found so many bad publicity about them they're really bad company law firm a collection agency whatever they want to call them uh, they they're they're really dirty as I said Pressler and Pressler just go what goes on and just ends up suing a lot of people um, for and then sometimes uh, if you, you can look it up if there's a fax on the internet go ahead and look it up that they use other people's information um, for just to collect the debt, <laughs> you know, which is really bad. So, um, with me, um, you know, I, I, I don't know how Pressler and Pressler got my information. I don't know if by any chance this um, doctors didn't get paid and they ended up taking me to a collection agency and then the collection agency, uh, I don't know, they sold it to Pressler and Pressler. I don't know. Um, that's why I'm trying to track back to see what was going on and what happened and why, you know, all this and why do I have a judgment and <clears throat> the thing about it is that in order for you to get a judgment in your credit report, you had to appear in court and, oh, and if you lose or the judge decides to go against you, then they place a judgment on your credit report and you have to repay that bill back. That's what a judgment is. So, uh, for me, I didn't know there was a judgment against me until I saw it and it said that my judgment was from January. I got a job around April and I'm all like, whoa, this is going crazy. But I didn't check my credit report until September. <laughs> so when I printed out my credit report and I'm all like, I'm going crazy here. I'm all like, there's a judgment in my credit report. What am I going to do? I've never been served. I mean, don't you have to, somebody has a knock on your door or something like a sheriff to be served. I, you know, I, I didn't know. Uh, nobody appeared at my door. I was here during the day. I was actually, well, I was in and out you know, looking for a job and everything. But there was no notices left saying, hey, you got to go pick this up. Even if I was getting uh, served by certified mail or something like that, uh, I wasn't, there was no notices left on my door or whatever. So 
I was like, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> so the next thing you know, um, I started calling Medical Empire Associates. And if they didn't get paid, I called them. And I said, look, I'm working now. What I want to do now is pay you monthly basis you know so then they went to go ahead and looked at my account and they said you have a zero balance and i'm all like what do you mean you have a zero balance it's all oh, your account's been paid for and i'm all like by who charity care so i'm all like so why do i have a judgment in my account and the ladies all like huh i'm not sure why you have a judgment in your account i'm all like you know i i told them that Pressler and pressler they sued me and everything i'm looking at my credit report and that's what they did and then um they said that oh well maybe uh, they don't know right so they were looking at it and said, well, it's paid for and everything. So I said, all right, can you do me a favor? Can you send me a letter stating that this was paid for? And when was uh, this bill paid for? So when I received the letter, it said that Charity Care paid for my account in September, which sucks because uh, if they did pay in September, for I don't understand from January or February from 2010 till September, almost two years that Charity Care ended up paying for this account. Now, here's the situation that I'm in right now, which I am totally lost right now, okay? One, I don't like the way Pressler and Pressler did because it wasn't even, uh, it was just barely past a year and they ended up taking me to court to pay for this bill, which was less than $1,000. I mean, they saw my credit report. I didn't have a job. I don't own a house. I don't own a car. So why take me to court? You know, I know you want to collect, but why do you do that? Why do you just go and sue people? And I've seen Pressler and Pressler. They come on the news all the time. They threaten you with imprisonment and all that crap. And that's why I don't like their tactics. And that's why I don't, I don't agree with them. So um, with that, I called Pressler and Pressler. And Pressler and Pressler said that they were notified that uh, this has been paid for. They contacted... Um, well, I have to contact the credit brewer myself, but, um, the judgment was taken off, okay? But, here's the thing, though, here's the thing, a judgment stays on your credit report for seven years, paid or unpaid, that's the thing. So, what am I doing right now, and what am I fighting for? I'm fighting for to take that judgment off, because that judgment should have not been there in the first place, but this is where I'm stuck, Okay? I applied for charity care back in 2010. They just recently paid it in 2011 of September. Okay, I got sued in January by Pressler and Pressler of 2011, and there's a judgment on my credit report. So basically, what it's saying right now is that it, in my credit report, it said it's satisfied, meaning I just recently paid for it in full. So basically, what that means is saying is that I paid for the judgment. Which for me, I, 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 I'm, I'm stuck here because I want to take that judgment out. Do you see what I'm saying? I want to take that judgment out because that judgment should have been there in the first place. I don't have any proof stating that this was paid for in 2010 before the court date. So first of all, what I have to do is go to the county clerk's office and make sure that I was served correctly. That's what I have to do. I do want to set up an appeal to take this out, but I need a lawyer. I do need some help here. The thing about it is that I make a little bit more than what the legal help, legal aid requirement, so that pretty much sucks. Now I have to really look for a lawyer and pay for that lawyer, which sucks because I don't believe in these type of lawyers you have to pay, most of them. I mean, most of the ones that I got were cheated out, cheating me out. So I don't know. Um, I really don't know. It, 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 really, it really does suck because having this judgment on my credit report, I don't want that because I want to pay off my entire credit report. I mean, I want to pay my debt. I want to clear it out. I want to do everything I can, but this judgment is going to look at it. It's going to kill me, that judgment. Seven years, seven years is not good. And I, and I just don't know where to start right now. I mean, besides going to the county clerk's office and making sure I was, um, you know, I, I was, uh, I was paid, you know, I, I, uh, I was served right. I just don't know. I don't know where, where to go from there after that. I really don't know. So this is my story guys right now is I am stuck in a bind right now with this judgment crap. 
uh, thanks to Pressler and Pressler that just rushed to sue me and uh, I lost and um, I was never notified there was no knock on my door there was no certified letter or anything like that that was noticed on my um, my doorstep I didn't receive anything from the county clerk's office I didn't receive anything I mean there's there's got to be some type of way to go through this to take this out of my credit report because it shouldn't have been there in the first place I was told that uh, the charity care was going to take care of things from the very beginning then I'm surprised that they didn't pay for it so basically it's charity care's fault in the same time Pressler and Pressler rushing things into a judgment there's got to be time here I mean if there, if Charity Care has been doing this for a long time, and if they're they're always paying things late, then they should notify us saying, "Hey, this wasn't paid off or something." And I'm here shocked that I got a judgment on my credit report, and I would have never noticed that they've ever, that they paid for my bill until I called them. You see, so it it it's it's kind of strange though because. I call the doctors and they're just recently got paid by charity care that that's that to me is kind of weird you see what I'm saying I mean it's almost two years that charity care paid for those doctors and I understand what you're gonna say I mean some people might tell me well you know it's still your responsibility on paying that bill but if I was promised that this bill's already been taken care of then yeah I mean, if, if they would have told me, hey, sorry, you got to pay for the doctor bill, then I would have said something and say, hey, spoke to the doctor and said, hey, I, I can't pay for this right now. I can't. You know, I can't do that. But there was nothing. There was nothing, nothing, nothing. So I don't know. I don't know where to go from here, you know. So, yeah, that is my long story, guys, right now. And this is something serious that I just wanted to get out there. And for any other person out there, I know there's so many other people right now that are going through the Pressler and Pressler attorneys as well, or a collection agency, whatever they are, there's so many people out there that are being duped by this and always getting those letters saying that if you don't get to contact us, you go to prison, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's got to be a way to stop this Pressler and Pressler because they just rush things like right away. They say, okay, you know, most of the people that, I, that I've seen, that I've read, and from the news and everything, is that Pressler and Pressler goes out and buys this account. Collection agencies don't give them the account. You see what I'm saying? I hope that you guys understand my story, and if any one of you are a lawyer or, or have any legal advice, let me know. Because I'm in a bind, I'm, in, I'm stuck right now. There's no way that I can go anywhere uh, to clear this credit out. I want that judgment out. That's the thing. I want that judgment out. And I hope that anybody out there that watches this, please let me know because I'm stuck right now. I'm, I'm really stuck right now trying to get this judgment out. I'm glad that it's satisfied. I'm glad it's paid for, but that judgment should have not been there in the first place. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Take care. Bye.